Hey, it's O Too Many Fish, and we are in the middle of October, and I'm wearing my new Walt Smith design shirt from Blue Ocean Designs. So check these out. Check Walt Smith out on uh, Facebook and all those other cool places. Anyways, I uh, wanted to share some cool stuff about sunlight for you. Um, as you see, I got my friend with me today and wanted to talk to you about the difference that sun, if you follow my videos for years now you know that I am really interested in doing stuff with the sun and the corals but also sun and fish it turns out has something to do with one another so anyways let's look take a look at the fish tank all right so here's our big fish tank in October there's a lot of white corals we had some kind of weird bacterial infection hit a week ago Wednesday everything was good and then all of a sudden at eight o'clock at night everything was cloudy and we lost uh, the majority of the SPS Softies are okay, LPSs are pretty darn good, but uh, the SPS did not fare well. And the reason we're looking at the tank today is not because of the corals, but because of this little guy down here. So this is one of our captive, uh, Bali Aqua Rich captive bred Gold Flake Angels. And he's a pretty good looking little fish. He's got little blue lips now, and he's got some gold patterning showing up on him. He's a decent cut set, decent color. I lost him. There, where'd he go? There he is. He's decent color. Um, Size-wise, he's growing pretty good. Uh, and is just a nice-looking captive red gold flake. Nice-looking gold flake in general. But good-looking captive red. Now let's go take a look at his siblings. So we'll swing around. We'll go outside. The outdoor frag tanks. Now, if you recall, maybe you do, maybe you don't, when we first got the gold flakes, we got three of them all at the same time. And oh, that one went and hid. Let's see if he comes back out. Anyways, two of them got the butts kicked while in the acclimation bucket. And so we grabbed one and threw him into one of the outdoor frag tanks, which is not this one. This one got his butt kicked inside. This one has been outside and is the smaller of the two. As you can see, we're in sunlight, but the colors, the black, the size of the fish, the purple on the lips, everything is just so much better. And I'm going to come over here to this one over here. And let's see if we can get this one in the sunlight. Come on over, buddy. This is the one that was the dominant one in the bucket, beating everybody up. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is a just picture perfect fish. Now what's really interesting is they're all in the same water. It's all one connected system. They all, the water goes from one tank to the other to the other. It's all filtered the same. All the nutrients are the same. But these fish out here in the frag tanks don't get fed. That means what they're living off of is the algae that the frag racks produce and the pods on the frag racks. They get fed maybe once a week or so. Um, where the fish tank, the gold flake inside, he gets fed three to five times a day thanks to my wife and I. And i just amazed at the difference in not only the health and colors of the fish, but the growth difference and the color intensity between growing up outside in the sunlight and growing up indoors under the LED lighting. And it's, it is Radeon G6 Pros, so, you know, you can qualm about are there better lights out there or different spectrums or something. But to get such a dramatic difference between the fish is really amazing. And this again, this is the more aggressive one that we're looking at right now. So he was a little bit bigger. And I think now the one in the other tank is actually bigger. We'll see if we can get that one to come visit us down here at the end. Look at him from a different angle. He's in, not in the direct sun right now. Just because of where the tanks are, the sunlight. But remarkable difference between the fish.